Hi everyone, this is Matt Show and Intro Stats and today we're looking at using computer software to calculate normal percentages, normal probabilities or normal proportions. So we're basically trying to figure out percentages that go along with uh, normal quantitative data. Now the data we're looking at is an example we looked at in our last video, women's wrist circumferences, and we saw that it was normally distributed with a mean of 5.067 inches and a standard deviation of 0.331 inches. Okay, so um, the question would be if those were the case, let's suppose those were the numbers for um, all women, um, what kinds of percentage, what percent of women would have certain characteristics? Right, like what percent of women would be considered typical, and um, you know what what percent of women have certain risk circumferences? So let's take a look. Um, we're going to go to StatKey. StatKey has a great normal calculator that I really love using with my students. Again, it's in lock5stat.com, and you just click on StatKey. StatKey is right here. So we click on stat key. Now the normal calculator is under theoretical distributions normal. So it's right there. It says theoretical distributions normal. Uh, it, this actually also can be used for z-score calculations. So if you're doing anything with a z-score, um, we can look up uh, things that go with z-scores as well. So the normal calculator, you can use this on really any normal data uh, if you know the mean and the standard deviation. Okay, so let's click on it. Theoretical distributions normal in stat key. So we click on that. Now, right now it's set up as um, the uh, mean and standard deviation. The mean is set at zero and the standard deviation is set at one. Now that's actually very important because if that's the case, if you have the mean at zero, if you remember the mean will have a z-score of zero. And then if we go, uh, you know, going up one standard deviation, two standard deviation, the z-score goes from to from zero to one to two. So in other words, when you set when the computer sets the mean at zero and the standard deviation at one, this means that it's set up for z-scores. In other words, this is actually what we call the standard normal distribution. You can see these numbers down here are actually z-scores right now. Okay, this is sometimes called the standard normal distribution. But in our example here, with the risk circumferences, we didn't have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, but we can change that. Just click on Edit Parameters. So if we click Edit Parameters, and let's suppose we're going with, a, again, a mean was 5.067. So I'm just going to type that in. And a standard deviation of 0 0.331. There we go. So I just type in the mean and standard deviation of the normal data. Now once I have that in, I can use this to really calculate any percentage I want or any, um, and I can also find risk circumferences that go with specific percentages. Remember in our discussion of the empirical rule that this is um, the percentage under the tail this area right here is actually the percentage, is going to be the proportion. These numbers at the bottom are now women's wrist circumferences in inches now that we put in the mean and standard deviation these are now the wrist circumferences okay so um, we can answer all kinds of questions just remember greater than means right tail uh, less than left tail and so on um, so let's suppose I want to find uh, what percent of women have a wrist circumference more than 5.5 inches, more than five and a half inches. Well, again, I can just click right tail since I'm looking for more than. Okay. Um, if you notice, it, it, the default it came out to uh, a proportion of 0 0.025. That's not what I want, though. I want 5.5. So all you do is the, the bottom number is going to be the inches or the whatever the quantitative variable. The top will be the proportion. And this area right here that's red is basically the proportion. So we're going to just type in and click on the bottom box and type in 5.5. And this will now give me, oh, okay, so this is actually the proportion of women that have a wrist circumference above 5.5 inches. So it would be 0 0.095 or about 9.5%. 
All right, so here's the area that it calculated. Again, in the old days, we could calculate this with um, calculus. Um, so you can, I still have sometimes have my calculus students calculate stuff like this, but uh, the computers can actually calculate it really quickly and very nicely. Let's look for another question. What if I want to know, okay, what percent of, um, what percent of women have a wrist circumference uh, below, um, let's say, 4.25 4 inches, so four and a quarter inches. So what I would do below or less than would be a left tail. So you want to get in the habit of thinking right tail greater than, left tail less than. And then I can click in my, if I want 4.25, I can type in 4.25 in the bottom box, because that's the inches, and there's the percentage. So the proportion would be 0 0.0068, not much, about 0.68%, lower than 1% of women have a wrist circumference less than 4.25. Okay, so now if I, if I want, um, what if I want, uh, what percentage of women uh, have a wrist circumference greater than, than um, 4.5? So greater than, I would again, I would click right tail, but then on this bottom box, I would type in 4.5. Right. And there we go, about 0.957 would be the answer. So about 95.7% of women have a wrist circumference above 4.5 inches. Now, what about between? Between can be a little tricky. It depends on what you're looking for. Um, Let's suppose I want to find uh, what percentage of women have a uh, wrist uh, circumference uh, between four and a half and five and a half inches. Um, the two-tailed button will actually just find uh, perfect middle percentages, and this wouldn't. This example I'm giving is not necessarily perfectly in the middle. So what you want to do is think of it as left tail and right tail. So I'm going to click left tail and right tail. And then I'm just going to kind of uh, change these numbers over here. So this one is 5.5 on the right number and 4.5 on the left number. Just like that. See that? 4.5, 5.5. And now we have the percentage in between. You have three different percentages. This is the left tail percentage, the right tail proportion, and the middle proportion or middle percentage. So this one, 0 0.861 is the answer. So about 86.1% of women would have a wrist circumference between four and a half inches and five and a half inches. Now I will say this, once in a while you'll see that um, if you've done a lot of these on the same graph, every once in a while I'll sort of reset everything. Uh, because the computer tends to remember all of these numbers you've been calculating and sometimes it'll get kind of glitchy. So after a while, after I've done three or four of these, I, I, or if it ever starts to look kind of weird, just go back to reset. Now I know what you're wondering, oh no, I lost my mean and my standard deviation. Well, it's still there actually. If you just click edit parameter, it kept track of what the mean and standard deviation were. You just have to push OK again. And there we're back to a fresh screen where we can start again. Now let's suppose we're looking for specific, um, spe uh, we know the percentage we're after, but we need a specific uh, wrist circumference. Well, again, let's suppose I want the wrist circumference that about 75% um, of women are greater than. Well, if I, greater than again would be right tail. But this time, I know the percentage, I know the proportion. So remember, top box is proportion, lower box is the quantitative, the kilograms, or in this case, inches, or dollars, or whatever the quantitative variable is. So all I want to do is put 0.95, um, I'm sorry, 0.75 in the top box right here. So 0 0.75, remember you need the proportion equivalent. Computers never allow you to put a percentage in. Uh, they always want the decimal equivalent, the proportion. So if I put in 0.75, I can see this area right here is 0.75, and there's the cutoff. So about um, 75, the top 75% of women have a wrist circumference above 4.844 inches. 
So you can kind of, again, you can actually find these bottom numbers as well if you know the top percentage. So what if I want to know the, um, the percentage, uh, the, the, the inches uh, with circumference that about 80% of women are less than. Okay, well remember less than would mean left tail. And the 80%, remember, is a proportion, so it's got to go up here. So 80% or 0 0.80 or 0 0.8, I just type that in the upper box, and then the bottom box gives me the answer. So five, uh, about 80% of women have a wrist circumference below 5.346 inches. Okay? Now, what if you're looking, I'm going to push reset again here, and then push edit parameter and kind of push OK again. Now, um, what if I want an exact middle percent? So the exact middle percent. So I want like um, the two values that it, the, the middle 20% of women are in between. Well, that's where the two-tail button comes in. Two-tail will find the exact middle percentage. So uh, right now, the D, it said it, 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 when I pushed two-tail, it gave me 95% in the middle, but I want 20% in the middle. So I just change this middle to 0 0.2. And there you go. Right? So 20% in the middle, and the two numbers are 4.983 and 5.151 inches. So those are the two answers I was looking for. What if I wanted 40% in the middle? Well, just click the middle percentage and put in 0 0.4. And now I got the two numbers that 40% of women are in between. So 4.893 inches to 5.241 inches. So it's very nice. Sure is a lot quicker than you than. Uh, than uh, having to actually calculate these with uh, calculus. Okay, so this is kind of nice. Now you can really do this with anything, so you can change this. So if I wanted to do, uh, I think we did examples of IQ before, so I could just change the, the parameters, go change the mean to uh, 100. I think the mean was 100 for IQ tests, and the standard deviation was 15, so I can just put those in. And now this is all set up to calculate percentages for IQ. Right, so if I wanted to know uh, what percentage of people have an IQ below 120,